everyone. Today I wanted to show you one of my favorite exercises. It's by the Greek guitarist and composer Evangelos Budones. It was showed to me by my former professor Renéas Kyrdo, and I've practiced it a whole lot in the past few years. I've also posted a lot of clips of me practicing it, and I always get a lot of questions from those. So I wanted to try to clear up some of those in this video and go ahead and show you the exercise. By the way, Budonis has made nine or more different technique books. This is from book one, and you can buy that ebook through the link in my bio from his website or his publishers. Um, and that will solve a lot of the questions that I'll be answering here about this, but I just figured I'd make this video. It might be useful to some of you. So this exercise starts out with F, right? With my thumb in the right hand and my index finger in their left. Now you're gonna see a va some various fingerings in my right hand here, which I'm gonna go over in the second part of this video. But first I'm just gonna describe what's going on in the left hand. So this exercise has a repeated note, right? This F, and then you have second and third finger coming down on the fifth string on B and C. And that second and third finger is just gonna keep climbing up the fingerboard across the strings, right? They're called vertical exercises. So this is mimicking what we do all the time in the guitar repertoire, which is like keeping a bass note while our fingers have to do something crazy on other strings, right? Now, once we get to the top there, we bring our first finger up, kind of showing some independence of our first finger, as opposed to moving our second and third like we were doing before. Then, when our first finger reaches that F, we come back down with two and three, and then, once we reach the bottom there, we come back down with our first finger. It falls us back down to the start. One more time, nice and slow. So my first finger stays here, and I pluck thumb. And I'm gonna move my second and third finger up the second and third frets. Then my first finger follows while I repeat second and third. And then first finger on the first string. And then my first finger follows, right? Now the great thing about this exercise is you can do all sorts of different combinations. Budonis has this in his book. You can do one, three, four. And you can do one, two, four. And then in the other forms of this exercise, you have the same patterns, but starting on your second finger, and you use one and three to ascend rather than two and three. And the exercise goes on and on, starting on three and also starting on four, right? You might have seen this in some of my other videos over on my Instagram. Let's talk just for a second about what I'm doing in the right hand to clear up some of these questions. I'm plucking P-I-M, 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 so thumb, index, middle. But uh, it gets trickier up here at the top, which is where I choose to play A, so ring finger, then P-I, A-P-I, 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 A-P-I. Now, maybe what comes naturally to you might be doing A-I-M, A-I-M, which you can do, but keep in mind, once you get down to the sixth string, it's really awkward for your A finger to be on the first and your M finger to be on the sixth. And it's not awkward when you're doing that with P and I because there's more of a space between I and A than M and A. Okay, so like I said, it goes A, P, I, A, P, I, A, P, I, A, P, I, A, P, I. And then I bring my A finger in the right hand down to the second, third, fourth, fifth, and then again back on the sixth with my thumb again. Okay, hopefully that clears up the right hand fingering. Um, I really recommend you check out these exercises and that book in general. Like I said, the link is in the description. Um, I've learned a lot from it. I feel really warmed up, not only in the left hand, but also in the right hand from all the string crossing that you have to do. Um, and it really prepares me for the pieces, especially the more difficult pieces that I'm working on on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and like the video, leave a comment. I know it seems monotonous to hear these types of things in the videos, but it really does help them get seen. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video on my favorite exercises.